What's up guys, Frugal BC coming at you with another video. Today's video, we're gonna talk, we're gonna react to a video called Algorand versus ICP, which is best. So I haven't watched this video beforehand. I have no idea what I'm getting into. Obviously you can tell from my hat, I've been doing, if you're new to the channel, I've been doing a lot of Algorand content. I think it's probably one of the best in terms of technology, obviously not in price action. And I certainly like other crypto besides Algorand. So sometimes when I make these videos, people think that I just, I just like Algorand and that's it. And it's far from the truth. However, I do most of my on-chain activity on Algorand because it tends to be pretty simple. And ICP is a coin I've been interested in for a while. I don't currently own any, but uh, I've, from what I've heard, I kind of like the idea of it. And we've talked about it a little bit in terms of how it works um, with different, uh, different development programs. You know, Algorand just went to pure Python. I believe ICP is the one that uses WebAssembly. I could be wrong about that. It uses WebAssembly, which allows it to use other languages like JavaScript, uh, Python, et cetera. But there's some extra tooling involved there, as I recall. I'm not a developer. I do a little bit of coding as a hobby, but I certainly wouldn't, uh, would never cast myself as an expert. So we're going to dive into this video today. By the way, guys, if you like this channel, if you decide you like it later on, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. As I always say, you don't have to smash it. You can actually just press it gently. It works just fine that way as well. And uh, we are brought to you by non-fungible domains. If you want that .algo address instead of the complicated letters and numbers, non-fungible domains is the way to do it. Check out the description below where you can uh, get your own .algo address and segments and vaults, all kinds of cool stuff like that. And we're brought to you by Fractal Monsters, a play to earn game also on the Algorand blockchain. Um, I really like the way these guys put together this game. They keep building on it. It's basically like a Pokemon slash Tamagotchi game with a little bit of Smash Brothers thrown in. If that sounds intriguing, you can go check it out for free. So just check out the link in my des description box of this video. And let's get to this video. I'm going to watch this. Like I said, I haven't watched this. I don't know what um, what we're in for. So we're just gonna we're just gonna find out. Algorand versus Internet Computer Protocol. Which one of these will help me be a crypto millionaire the fastest? Which technology and team are the best to invest in? You're going to love seeing my analysis right here. By the way, I like I like the way you framed it. I think from what I can see, there's two real categories, but actually I think there's three categories. But the two categories are price action, which I mean, algo has been pretty bad. I've pointed that out numerous times. So. <laughs> But I also think the technology is really, really good. I don't know much about ICP on either front. I suspect it's probably a little better in price and maybe not as robust. I really like the pure proof of Python or <laughs> pure Python approach that Algorand has taken. Not so fan, not so big of a fan of they don't have nodes and they're using governance. I think they're switching to consensus node rewards by maybe quarter four, I think it was. So good to see, but yeah, let's watch more of it because I'm showing you my research that I did and that I'm doing to pick the best cryptos for myself as an investor. And I'm doing this live with you here so you can see this is real and raw and authentic. And yeah, we're dreaming about 17 cents right now, aren't we? Remember that? I listened to you, I'm reviewing Algorand because you all asked me in previous live streams to compare review Algorand next. So if you comment while I'm live, I will add whatever you want me to review. So today we're reviewing Algorand. First, the price chart is as bad as internet computer protocols. Charts like this often make it really hard for people to buy because so many people just look at all and look at the chart. Yeah, by the way, we're not gonna watch this whole thing because it's really, really long. It's like 40 minutes, so the reaction video would be like an hour or more. Um, but notice, uh, like he said, the price chart is just as bad. This is the botch launch, and a lot of people never go back and look this far. This is a this is a botch launch. It launched at like three dollars and fifteen cents. It has never been that high since. I mean, even when we were all happy when it was above two dollars, people have said two sixty eight. It might have been flashed up to that point, but really, it got a little over two dollars. Um, yeah, that's a problem, and I hope he compares it to ICP and immediately leave after that. So, in that sense, ICP and Algorand have the same basic awful chart and the question is well is the technology is the team so good that they're going to completely defy the odds on this you know down 90 something percent price chart if we look at algorand over the last year the price action hasn't been that great either only six cents higher 
than it was a year ago. And if you account for the price of Bitcoin a year ago, Algorand has performed poorly on price, but price is the tip of the iceberg and you really need to look at what's going on underneath it. Um, yeah, I agree with that entirely. So some people have criticized me when I go back and do one year comparisons, but I think that's a good way to compare the relative price action of coins. You know, if you compare them by dollars, well, some coins, like the movement is what's important, not the the overall price, because, you know, if you buy in at two cents and it goes up to 10 cents, that's a better, that's a better deal. You made more money than if it's at something's at $500 and it goes to $600, right? Um, because you presumably will put the same amount of money. Like I have $500 to invest. If I invest $500 in Algorand, I get more coins. If I invest, then if I get invest in this, you know, one that's $500. So, um, yeah, the underlying team, I'm curious what he's going to say about this. So let me show you the first thing I'm actually really impressed with when you look at Algorand, when you look at the Algorand foundation team, unlike the vast majority of cryptos, they are proud of all the people that they have working they actually have pictures and read more on their profiles and links to their twitter and linkedin and that is way this is this is impressive and now of course if you have watched my previous icp videos definity has the largest research and development team in blockchain and they have hundreds of team members listed on their website so Algorand is one of the first cryptos out of a lot I've researched that actually looks similar and that shows an impressive team in terms of transparency and quantity. How yeah, I think that's a really good point. And actually, the people he's showing, inter interestingly enough, I don't actually know a lot of these people. These We're not seeing like the... We did see Adriana, who's in charge of governance. Uh, I've chatted with her online before. Uh, I was going to try to bring her on to do a, do a chat about governance, but it didn't end up working out. But people like John Allen Woods or the new the new Algorand CTO or CMO, excuse me. Uh, I can never remember his name because it's like Mark Vol on, on Twitter. Uh, but yeah, Mark is uh, is kicking butt. He's really done a lot. The new, the new Algorand commercials are great. But yeah, the team's it's a serious team, you know, maybe a little overbuilt for what the coin's actually doing but uh maybe not i don't know i'm kind of sensitive to that stuff so he's about to say but so i'm curious by the way i so far i kind of like the way this guy thinks i think he thinks pretty similarly to me from what i can see so uh i think it's going to be one of those positive videos so i guess i can't be like oh my god this guy's so dumb um you know he seems pretty uh pretty level-headed however if you look at the people on the team for algorand and what they do there's a significantly different story. So if you, uh, l let me just see if you can see it. So I'm gonna see if you can see it. So Algorand team, you have governance program manager, head of product, brand and marketing, executive assistant. That's pretty nice. She gets listed so high up on the, the team here. Country head, you know, given like executive assistant. That's nice. Senior developer and relations associate, head of community, country head, developer relations, and I'm not sure exactly. Maybe they did this in alphabetical order. They did. Look at look at. It's obviously in alphabetical order. Adriana, Alessandro, Alexa, Anna, Anil, Astha. Yeah, it's obviously in alphabetical order. So, but uh, fair point. You know why put it in alphabetical order? You should probably put it in terms of org chart. You probably want like your top people. You probably want Stacy Warden at the top with John Woods and Mark. You know, and like some of your maybe your chief financial officer. Yeah, you probably want your head of it, this, is, this is actually a pretty good criticism, although I think you missed that it obviously is in alphabetical order, but uh, probably good criticism. You probably should rank your stuff in terms of like what they do because, yeah, you probably don't want to see like branded marketing and you know, developer relations as executive assistant at the top. You want to see like your top people, like the people are that are making the decisions. So, fair enough, fair enough which is why it's listed like this but look look at the look at the titles of what the people do community manager head of people head of events content developer advocate solutions architect DeFi, markets education ecosystem finance council compliance are you seeing a trend here most of these people although you've got you know cto it administrator software engineer theoretically these are going to be more technical talents 
There's Mark. Uh, Mark Van Lerberg. I got to remember how to pronounce that name. If you notice, most of the people on this page are marketing and business people. Most of the people on this vast team page are not actual developers. And yeah, actually, <laughs> um, I've got thoughts about that because obviously the marketing until Mark came on board was pretty poor. Their previous hire, Jessica, was obviously a huge mistake. She did, as far as I can tell, she did nothing. And even, uh, you know, I tried to I tried to kind of give a steel man case for her that maybe a lot of the stuff she was doing was from behind the scenes. But uh, uh, John Woods kind of hinted otherwise, like that it was just sort of just sort of didn't work out. He was pretty diplomatic, but didn't like definitely didn't take the bait on my steel manning of her. So uh, very interesting. But yeah. Yes, Raf says a lot of people do nothing productive. So if you're investing, if you're investing in uh, a cryptocurrency, the bottom bottom line of what you're investing in is the engineering team's ability to create a product. Just think of it like this. If you are investing in Tesla, the bottom bottom line of what you're investing in is the engineering team's ability to make a car that actually is awesome. Like if you strip away all the marketing and other, you know, social stuff, the bottom bottom line of the investment is can this company make a car that people really want to buy? And it doesn't matter how good your marketing is if they make a car that's not good and that breaks and that's not useful. And in crypto, this is even more important. So if you look at the team here, out of all these people, there's mostly business people, marketing people, you know, you've graphic designers, country heads, which you can imagine is marketing. Now look at what... Def but one thing, uh, one thing you might be missing out on, this is the foundation. There's also the Algorand Inc., which probably has a lot more of the technical people. Obviously, John Allen Woods is on here and there are other technical people on the staff. But and I don't know if that's always the case, you know, where a company will typically have like someone who is, you know, have a foundation and like a technical team that's like a separate organization like Algorand Inc. So that might be part of the problem, but, but yeah. Affinity Foundation has. Founder and chief scientist, experienced entrepreneur here, chief operating officer and uh, technology. So let's let's scroll through kind of the quantity. So maybe a few in here aren't technical. Dominic, Jan, both technical. Engineering, growth, HR. So obviously some of the C-suite's not going to be technical. All right, but let's go down here. Technical staff, technical, tech, engineering, technical, 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 research, technical, technical, technical. Do you see how many engineers and technical staff that they have at Definity? I mean, look, just look at the quantity. Software engineer, programmer, PhD, computer engineer. This, this is what nobody else in crypto has this sheer quantity of technical staff, engineer, mathematics, technical staff, software engineer, open source hardware operator, technical staff, applied mathematics, and, and NVIDIA, executive at IBM, and well, that's that's a um, not non-technical, technical staff, engineering degree, software engineer, software engineer, and look, look at look how many of these there are, software researcher. Look at how many of these, even way down here, you've got technical staff. Yeah, I think most, I, I think my point kind of stands that uh, it's sort of an apples to oranges or apples to like Michigan comparison, as one of my professors used to say. Um, it seems pretty clear that uh, this is like one integrated team, whereas whereas Algorand has Inc. and the foundation. So it's not really a fair comparison. But I do... Uh, I do wonder about the staffing levels. It seems like they have pretty big staff for what they do. And I'm not sure they need all those people. Cause like the fact that Jessica seemed to be able to just float kind of is pretty disturbing. Um, I would think in a smaller team, you would get away with that for like a month. You know what I mean? So uh, size, size wise, I would agree with the criticism. I, I think he's kind of, but you know, if you're not that familiar with it, you might not know that Algorand has ink and foundation. So a lot of the technical people are on ink. Let's continue. Full stack developer. I mean, the sheer quantity of technical staff engineers that are featured just on the foundation page. So if you compare that to Algorand now, keep in mind, Algorand has way more transparency than almost any other crypto I've seen. So that's a good sign. But if you look at what are they doing, they're mostly business people. They're mostly selling stuff. They're mostly marketing. And if you look at Definity, what are they doing? They're mostly engineering. So in the short term, many people will hype up marketing and business development and stuff. But when you're investing in cryptocurrency, the bottom line is the technology. And the bottom line is the, the technology on the protocol. Actually, I 100% disagree with that. 
because if it was, Algorand has amazing technology. It's one of the best in the, the business. Yet <laughs> the price has been garbage. And he's touting the ICP. He's touting the ICP and he said he admitted that ICP is bad too. In fact, let's so it's it's pretty hard to say the tech from what I've my 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 experience has actually been the opposite, that the coins with the absolute worst price action seem to be the ones with the best technology. It's but the meme coins that have like almost no actual purpose, they're the ones that seem to do really well. Yeah, let's see. Let's find ICP here. Let me share this. I mean, certainly doing better in terms of market cap. Price is higher, but you can see it's like it's a low supply coin. So the price is just typically going to be higher on a low supply coin. Um, yeah, what's the one year? The one year is about 8%. It's actually better. What does it look like all time? Oh, oh, interesting. So this one had a botch launch too. So ICP and Algorand are similar in that regard. Very interesting. But definitely, definitely done a lot better over the past year than Algorand has. Because that was comparing then. I'm pretty sure it's... Actually, let's look. Yeah, it's actually down on the year. It's actually down 1.17%, <laughs> whereas ICP is at least up 90%. Um, yeah, so I would say Algorand is the coin that's doing even worse. I've told you this. I've told you guys this. Like Algorand, like I use it for the technology. It's I'm not counting on it to make me rich. That's for sure. I definitely have other coins that I'm invested in. You know, Solana with all its technical failures and its its scammy tokenomics from day one, like its price action is really good. Do it do it does it make sense? No, it doesn't. Crypto doesn't make sense. So yeah, so I funded this is the part that I fundamentally disagree with him on. And I think what he's saying should be true. It'd be nice if it was true. I, I would really like it. And I think I still think in the long run, chains like ICP and Algorand that are really focusing on the technology, I think they'll win out in the long run, but we're talking a long run. Like talk to me in 10 years, talk to me in a decade when people finally realize, hey, I can't. Ethereum is just too expensive and Solana fails all the time, or maybe they'll fix Solana. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they'll really invest in a technical team and turn things around. It's, it's possible. I mean, the money is coming in. Places like Algorand, the money's not coming in. But right now, it doesn't work that way. Right now, right now, Algorand continues to falter. It sucks. <laughs> I, I wish I had better news for you. It just, and ICP, you know, doing better than Algorand, but not, not much when you compare it to some other ones like Solana. What's Solana at? And you know we're the schedule is getting kind of long, so we're probably going to cut it off pretty soon. I just want to see really quick. I mean, it's still up six hundred and fifty nine percent. It's down. It was up much higher than that. You know, we were up here around twenty two hundred dollars per coin earlier in the year. It even popped up back earlier this year. You know, in May, it was up 170 some, almost 180. So, and then if you look at the all, all time, it's up, you know, 15,000%. And neither ICP or Algorand can say that because they did not have a, apparently did not have a botch launch. I, I don't know all the details, but uh, DZ, DZ from the Bitboy, former BitBoy crypto channel was the first to point that out when I interviewed him. So pretty, um, he's not wrong either. All right, well, this video is getting pretty long, so um, I encourage you to check out the rest of the video. Like I said, I, I generally think he sounds like a pretty reasonable person and thinks similarly to me, except for I think he's wrong about the technology and price. And think you know the third the third factor. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. I think community is really important for crypto, and it's a uh, not just important like in terms of price and whatever, but it's just a, a cool aspect of the chain. You know, I mean, I just started uh, hanging out in the Womp Crew Discord and uh, I'm starting to go to some of their poker events. That's really fun. It's like something that I wouldn't have access to without, without crypto. So there's other aspects to this too. And I'm probably going to do a video on that at some point, how the community is really important. But 
yeah, for right now, I, I, I wish I wish the best technology was also leading in price, but it's just not the case. And ICP and Algorand both prove that. They both have pretty good technology. They're both focused on the technology and the coins faltering. So especially Algorand, unfortunately. All right, uh, let me know what you think. If you watched the whole video, are there are any points that you think I should consider. Maybe I'll do a second one or something. Uh, like I said, it seems like a reasonable guy. This isn't like a takedown video or anything or like a negative reaction video. I don't agree with everything though. Um, fundamentally on price and technology and the relationship between the two, we just see too much contrary uh, or counter indicators, I, I should say. So otherwise, uh, if you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Stay safe. I'm Frugal BC, and I will see you in the future.